Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Island Official. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change character material using a blueprint. This is very useful for you if you want to make the character get wet or get soaked, if the character hit by rain or if character enter the pond or lake, or if the character get hit by the enemy and you want to change the material from the character, let's say you want to make the character rip off or you want to make the character get a blood effect. So this is very useful guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. First, you need to create a material that you want to apply. Okay, right click, material. Let's name this to M underscores uh, change cloth. Okay. Open up. Uh, minimize this one. And first, you need to uh, make a texture that you want to apply. Okay, in my case, I already make the texture for a wet effect. So I'm going to choose the texture. Okay, I'm choose this texture called a cloth wet. So how to uh, apply in this material, just uh, minimize this and click your texture and drop in here. Drop, drop in here. Okay. Open up and connect to your RGB to the base color. And if you want to make the cloth is not looking metallic, you can handle it using a constant. How to do that? Uh, right click, just type a constant. Okay. Click this. And if you don't want to make the character looks metallic, the character cloth, just handle it in here. Uh, connect to the roughness. And if you want to make the character 100% is not looking metallic, just type one. But if you want to make the character have a semi metallic, I recommend you to uh, point. Eight. Okay. This apply. Let's back to the blueprint here and change clothes. So we have create the material for change the cloth. Okay. So the next one is we need to create a blueprint. So right click blueprint class and select the actor. And let's name this to BP underscores change clock okay double click and click add component type box collision okay and let's name this to uh, box collision or you can name this whatever you want to name in the event wrap just delete this and type even begin play Okay, we need to create a material instance first, and then we want to cast it to the new material. So in the event begin play, click and drag and type uh, create dynamic material instance. Okay, in the parent, just click and select the material that we already made it before. In this case, I already made the material for change cloth. The name is a uh, M change cloth. Okay. And the return value, just click and drag and choose a promote variable. Let's name this to uh, wet cloth reference. A uh, wet cloth material mat wet cloth mat reference. And we need to uh, make the reference from the character too. In here, just click and drag and type cast to cast to your uh, blueprint character. In my case, I will cast to my if third person character. Okay. In the object, type get layer character okay and i want to promote this variable too okay we need to promote this variable let's name this to character uh, reference okay 
now we want to make the collision so if the character hit by something or hit in the specific location and you want to change the cloth you need the box collision so click box collision and right click in the end even for box collision click this one and click collision and choose add company begin overlap or you can make it a simple just type even component begin overlap it's same okay and in the other actor click and drag and cast to your third person character in my case is if third person character just let's move uh, down a bit okay and we need to set a new material so set material and choose this set material uh, mass okay set material mass and just delete this delete this now we need to uh, add this character reference and click and drag in here and just get character reference we need to apply the character uh, the player material to the new material okay so we need the character reference okay i, I typed the wrong uh, character character ref okay character ref and here just type get mesh scroll down and choose this one okay let's move a bit and connect this to the target so uh, the idea is if the character hit by something let's say if the character hit this collision it will change the material okay so you need the character reference to do that okay now we want to apply the new material that we want to add okay in this case i want to add the a wet cloth so in here we already uh, get the reference from the wet cloth called material change cloth okay so we just click wet cloth material reference and click and drag here and choose a get wet cloth material reference and connect that to the material okay and the element index what is the element index is i will show you you need to uh, check your character mess i will type uh, if third person character you can check in your mesh in my case i put in here if third person character and click mesh and choose the skeletal mesh double click okay it will go direct to your character mesh so what is the uh, element index so element index is the element that uh, contain all the texture so this is element one this is let's say this is index one index uh, index zero index one index two in, index three so i want to change the material that contain a cloth in this case in element one so let's say i want to change my cloth material to become wet so this is a normal cloth let's say i am already make this so i don't use this one because i just want to make tutorial the name is with m cloth and change cloth so if i hit by something i want to change the cloth to be come a wet okay so let's say i need to compile okay it become wet so it become like this okay let's change it back Okay, so the, the element that I want to change the cloth is the element one. You need to make sure this one, guys, if you want to change, if you have, if your character have uh, many element index, you need to change to the specific element. So make sure you choose the right one. In this case, I will choose element one because the element one contain a cloth material. Okay, so the, in the element index, I will type one because i want to change the element index one that contain material cloth okay 
So after I hit the collision, let's say my clothes become wet, have a soap, okay? And if I uh, out from the box collision, I want to check it back to the normal material to become, let's say, dried material. So in this collision, just click Add Component and Overlap. And the other actor, just type Cast to your your uh, blueprint character. In my case, is Cast to give third person blueprint. Okay, make it a delay so it will make a look a nicer because you don't want to suddenly change to become a normal. Uh, cloth, let's say if become wet and you want suddenly change the dry cloth, it's a will wear. So you need to handle it using a delay. So I will type this delay. Let's say I want to make delay for three seconds. So after the three seconds, I want to check it back my cloth to become a dry. So I just click and drag like this. I just select this material, character of mess and set material, copy and paste okay and connect this okay let's make it uh nicer okay in this material you don't need you don't need to uh connect anything because uh you already make the default material is a dry so you don't need to connect this material to anything okay just leave it as default compile minimize this and i have this step two sample first let's say this is a rain and this is a pond or lake so let's go to the blueprint chain cloth click and drag and put it here okay let's make it bigger like this same put in here and make it bigger okay so i will play this okay let's say i will get uh hit by rain get hit by water this is a dry cloth and if i get hit by rain the cloth become wet like this and let's say i don't uh, get uh, by get hit by rain and wait a three second the character cloth become dry again it's same like if i enter the pond like this my cloth become wet and if i leave this pond and wait until three seconds it will change back the cloth to become a dry cloth so yeah guys that's how to change the material character using a um, blueprint this is very useful guys very useful and will make your game look nicer okay guys that's the end of the tutorial please consider to give like subscribe or comment below see you then